Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. <sighs> I'm going to be very serious, so I'm not really going off a script or anything. I just have some key points that are highlighted that I want to really go over in this video. I'm not going to talk about the game. I'm not going to talk about anything of that. If you guys, it's just here for you guys to look at, basically. Um, but this is going to be a very serious video. If you guys know, a couple, like, not even a couple months ago, um, it was about like maybe five or six, seven months ago. Employees at Activision Blizzard staged a walkout in response to the frat boy culture going on in the office setting. And I very much side with those people because I truly believe that if you are going to work for a company, that company should at least give you not only equal pay, but you know to equally pay you for your time being there but to make sure the environment you are in is safe that is two those are two things that i i truly believe that companies need to really ensure for their employees as much as possible and new stuff came up today about bobby kodak where there is a walkout happening right now this is you know two days uh prior after this is happening because i'm recording it now as it's happening now um i record these videos to upload like a week for the week um and i'm just now getting to record this video right now let's get it uploaded this week so i do apologize for being a couple days late but as of right now the time recording which is november 16th at 3 15 p.m that i'm recording this at least phoenix time um Dan Bunting, and you can find all of these in Charlie Intel's Twitter, which will be linked down below, of course. But breaking news for Dan Bunting, Treyarch's co-studio head, is no longer at Treyarch, per the WSJ or Wall Street Journal. In their new report, it states that there was a harassment allegation against Dan Bunting in 2017. Investigation recommended he be fired for it in 2019, but yet... Bobby Kodak intervened and kept them then. Not looking good for you, Bobby. You intervened and kept someone that probably should have been let go way before now. <sighs> this isn't looking good. And again, I, I don't know if I stay, say, stated, but this walkout is for Bobby Kodak to resign. The one happening right now, they're asking Bobby Kodak to resign from CEO of Activision Blizzard. So another uh, pop-up, again, all of these from Charlie Intel. The Wall Street Journal reports also mentions incidents at Sledgehammer Games in 2017 where their HR team did not take serious action after reports happened. It also detailed how Bobby Kotick knew about many of these allegations and didn't properly address them. I'm going to pause right here because that is absolutely disgusting. You knew that this was going on in your workplace environment, that people working for you were not feeling safe, felt threatened, and they were reporting it to you, and you knew about it, and yet you, you didn't say or do anything about any of it until now. You know, it's pretty sad that, you know, YouTubers and news sites and lawyers have to get all involved in this for you to take action that should not happen you should be taking responsibility for stuff happening in your workplace in your work environment if you are a ceo if something bad is happening to your employees you need to make sure that they are feeling safe because if they don't feel safe they're not going to want to work for you why would you want to work for a company that you don't feel safe at so I completely stand with this walkout. Bobby Kotick needs to resign immediately. I don't care what Blizzard Activision is going to say, but, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and, you know, go into the next uh, piece of information. In addition, the WSJ states that Jen O'Neill, who was promoted to co-leader of Blizzard back in July after the former president resigned, was paid less than her male counterpart, co-lead of Blizzard. Jen O'Neill announced she was leaving two weeks ago. Again, 
whether you are gay, straight, trans, black, white, Mexican, female, male, I don't care if you're non-binary, just, if you are doing a job for someone, you should get that equal pay. You shouldn't have to get paid less because, oh, well, she's a girl. It doesn't matter. That's not right. I know many female gamers who have amazing fucking ideas. And I literally, I, I don't know what goes through these people's minds that are they stuck in like these old, in, in, in this old time where, you know, girls aren't supposed to be gamers or something. It's stupid, ridiculous, sexist, and it needs to stop. The fact that this is still going on after already having allegations going on for this is, no, it's not right. It shows that you don't know how to be a, you know, run a leadership role. It shows that you don't know how to do what you are, you know, meant to do. But you know what? Let's keep in my mind closed because Bobby Kodak has his response here and we're going to read it right here. Over the last few months, so many of you have generously and candidly shared your experiences and your insights about the type of company you want us to be. We've taken meaningful actions to improve our company and our culture, but there is more to do. To become the model workplace we all aspire to be, more change is required, but I, I'm also so confident that we will get there. We, there will, of course, be continued media attention about us and our industry over the next few months. In fact, there is an article today that paints an inaccurate and misleading view of our company, of me personally, and my leadership. I want to say two important things about this. First, we are incredibly fortunate to have the most talented people in our industry all so committed to constant impro improvement. And I share this commitment. The second thing I want to say is that anyone who doubts my conviction to be the most welcoming, inclusive workplace doesn't really appreciate how important this is to me. And to me right there, that seems like he's trying to gaslight them, but I don't know. Maybe he really means this. Creativity and inspiration thrives best in a safe, welcoming, respectful environment. There is no substitute for that, and staying true to our values without exceptions is the best way to retain our talent and to attract the new talent we need to achieve our great potential. As I have made clear, we are moving forward with a zero-tolerance policy for inappropriate behavior, and zero means zero. Any reprehensible conduct is simply unacceptable. We will. Uh, we have a chance to further enhance our culture and be the be uh, example other companies will follow. We and we also so incredibly. We are so incredibly unfortunate. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Connecting and engaging the world through joy and fun is a powerful mission. Accomplishing this is in a welcoming, inclusive workplace ensures we will achieve our mission with excellence. Over the last few years, our industry has had an uncomfortable spotlight that's been illuminating our opportunities for us to change. And we must all, including me, embrace this need for change so we can bring our very best selves to the very best workplace. Guys, he's basically telling us what we want to hear. Does he truly mean this? I don't know. I don't know if he really truly means this. If he really meant this, then why would he have these allegations of knowing these things and not report them? Like, that's still what's hitting us. He's telling us what we want to hear. And to me, it feels like he's gaslighting. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, apparently the Activision Blizzard board of directors feel that he is... You know, a, still a good leader because they say that they uh, they issued a statement saying they remain confident in Bobby Kotick as the leader. But yet this statement was released in regards to the WSJ report. And there was no new statement from the company following the walkout from employees today. Guys, this says it all. His actions says it all. He willingly knew about these incidents and chose to not report on them. He may 
say that oh well we the future is going to have for the past next couple of months a negative spotlight on us well yeah because we're going to call you out on your shit bobby i stand with the people who walked out today and calls for him to resign bobby kodak for once in your life listen to your employees resign walk away because it shows you do not have the capabilities of being a leader that is meant to lead this company i'm out of time guys you guys got my opinion stay safe peace